I'd like to show you some simple ways that you can have your students add images to their Google presentation, drawing, or Google document. We're going to be looking at the Explore tool and some of the built-in image editing features of Google Drive. You don't need to install or add anything in order to take advantage of these features. They're super easy, great for elementary, all the way up to high school students. So I've got an assignment here. I call this a Mount Rushmore assignment. Uh, you have students select the five greatest best of anything, whether it's, you know, events in the uh, period of history you're learning about or five most important events in a book or anything of that nature. And you have them justify why they chose or selected those five things. So I just did a fun one here, five greatest athletes of all time. Always a lot of debate about things like this. So I've got my four, four of my five done. I need to add a picture of Michael Phelps. Now, the way that I'm going to encourage you to do this, or one option, is by looking at the research tool. So I'm in Google Slides right now in the bottom right corner. Right down there, you see this kind of weird looking uh, symbol. This is the Explore button. Now, this is available in Google uh, slides, Google Docs, Google Forms, drawing. It's available in everything. Um, where it's located will vary uh, slightly. You can always get to it no matter where you are by going to the Tools menu and you'll see Explore up here as well. So let's go ahead and open up Explore. And what this is is essentially a way that you can get information and media about whatever it is uh, you're learning or creating in your document. So I'm looking for Michael Phelps. So I'm going to just copy his name and paste it or type it into the explore tool and we can get all kinds of things I can get web uh, research so it's just pulling up like his Wikipedia page and some websites about him but I can also get images on Michael Phelps so I want one of these images let's uh, uh, try a few so if I click the um, image itself it'll open up in kind of this preview um, it looks okay so let's hit the insert button and see how that looks. Um, all right, so it's a good image. Now, all of the images that you'll find when you use the Explore tool are Creative Commons royalty copyright free. So you will notice that you're going to get a lot different results when you use the Explore tool versus if I just went to regular Google and did an image search. All the images here are fully available for use uh, in your classroom. You'll notice a lot of them are going to come from the Wikimedia Commons, uh, which is free open source um, uh, area for images. So that's okay, but it doesn't really match my Michael Jordan picture here. You know, this one is more rectangular um, and wide, where this one is tall. So and I'd also like to find something maybe with a gold medal. So let me put in the word gold here, see what comes up. Um, all right, so this one here looks a little better. Let's click on it to take a look. So there we go. That's a little wider, so that's good. I'm going to hit insert. So we'll insert that in. Um, now it's quite large, so we're going to grab the corner handles and drag it down. I always drag from the corners so that I don't end up with, uh, you know, a squash photo. You've probably seen, you know, we don't want any of that. Um, and then I'm going to move it down. Now, if it doesn't crop or doesn't size precisely how you want, if you double click on an image, you're going to get these crop marks. And so if I wanted to make this a little bit tighter, I could slide it in. You know, if my image was rectangular and I need to be more square, I could do that again by double clicking and adjusting. I can even drag to kind of reorder it. Uh, in the frame. So uh, some simple ways to edit your images. You don't need to use any external tools. If you just have a, you know, a simple crop, double click and drag those crop marks. Now I want uh, my Michael Jordan and my Michael Phelps image to be perfectly aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of those. And I'm going to go to the uh, format menu or excuse me, uh, insert and I'm going to align them uh, together. So this is just a simple way that we can uh, you know, make sure that these two images are perfectly aligned with one another. So we'll go to our range, there it is, and align, and you can go top, center. I want these to be uh, middle uh, range, or range by the middle. That means they're perfectly uh, aligned like that. We'll do the same thing to Muhammad Ali and Tom Brady. Up top here, again, I'm select uh, my two images, arrange, 
a line and I want them ordered in the middle. So another thing that you'll notice when you drag your images around, um, you'll see these red lines um, up here. So that tells me right now I'm perfectly aligned with that image. If I move this way, I can perfectly align it centered with uh, the Brady image at the top, um, however you want to go. So I, I pay attention to those lines as well. The last thing I'll show you is uh, some effects that you can apply. So I'm going to click on um, the Michael Phelps image. Um, and there's a couple ways to get here. You can click this Format Options um, button up here at the top. Uh, and that will get you in there. You can also just right-click on the image, and you'll get the same thing. So I'm going to right-click two fingers and you see Format Options. It's going to bring up a bunch of things. Like if you need to get it a very specific size, you can uh, type in the, the height width there. Um, if you want to do some recoloring, it's you know, kind of a, a really simple Instagram style uh, recoloring. You can do that. Uh, we can adjust the transparency, which uh, sometimes is very helpful if you wanted to make that a background image. Um, and then the one that I use the most is just the drop shadow. It just gives a little uh, depth. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do that to all of my images. I'm going to add a drop shadow on them. Um, just makes them pop out a little bit from the background. Uh, last thing is this reflection tool, um, which I haven't used too much, but just kind of gives that uh, very Apple-esque look uh, that your students may uh, enjoy doing. So those are just some built-in image editing features. Those are standard throughout all of Google Drive, whether you're in Docs, Slides, um, Google Drawing, especially those three, you're going to find those three options.